Taking a look at a startup success, billionaire hedge fund founder Ken Griffin is making news headlines by moving his business to Miami following complaints about the high level of crime in the city of Chicago. Well, one entrepreneur who happens to be an ex-con is helping to put a stop to crime by improving the system his way. Joining us now is Tyrone Muhammad. He's an author and the founder of Ex-Cons for Community and Social Change. Great to have you here. What prompted you to get this startup off the ground? Well, Andrew, thanks for having me. While serving 20 years in the Illinois Department of Correction, I grew rather um, tired of seeing the um, re-entry of men that would leave me and then come back. I said that it is our job and duty to fix it and repair it. Well, most people here, no matter what color, are given a bus ticket and a $20 bill upon release from prison. What are some ways that you are using prevention and intervention to assist them? Absolutely. I mean, it is rather disingenuous to have all the resources in the world to incarcerate me with tax dollars, but no resources to help me amalgamate back into society as a useful citizen. For instance, if I'm on parole, I was on parole for three years. I had to work off my parole because of the work that I do and because of great behavior. Um, I was released off parole a year early because I've done all the necessary things to prove my citizenship and my reentry. And but that was no help from the institutions. That's no help from the prison system or society. That was my own doing that allows me to amalgamate properly back into society with no resources. So we out for parole for three years, but if I mess up, Angela, if I happen to mess up, then I go back to prison to serve the rest of the uh, parole time. But see, within that three years while I'm out here, instead of them uh, uh, sending my money back to prisons to house my body, they should be figuring out how to give us those same resources to have in our own apartment, to, to, to go to school, to do a lot of the necessary things so that we can then become uh, 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 repair the damage that uh, languishing in the nine by 12 cells for 24 hours may cause individuals. And oftentimes, Angela, men are released back from, from to society worse off than when they went to prison. What is your strategy for helping ex-cons turn their lives around? For instance, we have AA and NA in society. That's Alcohol Anonymous and Narcotics, Narcotics Anonymous that programs are funded by the government. What we created is what we call the Phoenix uh, Project or Program. Well, Phoenix rising from the ashes to greatness, right? We we offer a a, a, um, a sort of brotherhood, a, a circle of brotherhood that deals with the underlying issue of guys who've been successful in reentry, so that the new guys coming home have brotherhoods and sponsors that they talk to that's been through what they've been through. So in other words, when you get that feeling in your gut that make you want to commit a crime because of your life circumstances and experiences, there are those brothers in that circle, the manhood circle that we come to that say, hey, listen, hold fast, be firm. Maybe we can look for you a job on this. We know some people that can get you accl acc acclimated and we know some people that can get you employed. How many people would you say that you've helped so far? Well, I've been personally able to put over 400 ex-felons to work. Um, and dealing with intervention, I've been able, within the last two years, we've probably intervened as an organization in over three to 400 potential shootings. We wish you continued Go to business success, and we thank you for being here. We'll see our show yeah. on TV.